I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks, and here I am today with Colin Bricks from Gigabyte to talk about the bricks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the bricks. So I've, I've reviewed it. I loved it. I brought it to CES as my main video editing uh, desktop, right? So as, nice. um, as somebody who kind of embraces that digital nomad mentality, I like, I like the idea of bringing around a portable desktop because if you move a lot, you can't really own a desktop. It's impossible, but the bricks kind of open that up where you can actually travel with a desktop. And to me, that, that's huge. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, Intel developed sort of the form factor, this small form factor. They have their Nook device. Um, we came out with the bricks, um, similar concept, you know, ultra portability, very small, um, low profile, but yet full function PC. Um, basically, this even has a Visa mount, so you can mount it on the back of your monitor. So, I mean, obviously, very small profile, very, very powerful PC. So we're getting to the point where we're, those things are converging. This is something where, you know, it's small enough to, to be unobtrusive in your house. You can have this in your living room, you can have it in the back of your monitor in your den or your, your kid's bedroom or wherever, right? And it's not gonna be obtrusive. It's easy enough to move from mm -hmm. room to room. Um, and we've come out with a bunch of crazy concepts as well. We've got one that actually has a projector built in. <laughs> so you can take it to a meeting and project off, you know, onto the wall or wherever. And the great thing about this one, this one is our Bricks Pro. Mm -hmm. So this features Intel Iris Pro graphics. And I mean, this is a much better graphics core uh, from Intel. So, you know, this is actually a nice little mini gaming device. And you're also coming out with a Steam version of, of the Bricks. So it was announced at CES. Uh, we do have a design win. This, the Bricks Pro will be a Steam OS device, and that's going to happen in the near future. We're working with Steam. Um, actually, we're just getting the controller this week. Ooh. Yeah, so Steam basically has two requirements for a Steam device. They say it must have the controller shipped with it, and it also must boot to Steam OS. Now, the, the, the interesting thing about this device is that it's, it's basically a, a complete desktop when it ships for Steam, right? And Gigabyte's not usually in the, the habit of shipping <laughs> full systems you guys make motherboards. Yeah, so our, our, our business is mostly channel. Um, in the channel, we have different um, uh, distributors in different countries that have different requirements. Some are partners with different uh, vendors. Um, some have issues with certain vendors. So it's always hard for us to sell a full system in certain disties um, because they want to be able to, one, sell a system that their customers can change. They can add whatever memory spec that they want. They can add whatever, um, you know, maybe CPU or whatever. Um, another challenge for us for selling full systems in the channel is um, CPUs. So normally when we, you know, certain disty relationships that we have, when we sell a motherboard, that's fine. We know what the price of that motherboard is, and we can control our inventory levels and work with the DISD to control theirs, because normally it's a credit business. So right. you say, okay, here's a bunch of boards, sell them, and then pay us. Um, but if you have to tack on the cost of a CPU, that right. adds up how much you're, you're actually giving credit to the DISD, right? right? So sometimes that's an issue, but for this guy, um, you know, we're still working out how, how it's gonna work in the channel some SIs are actually developing a full system and they're, they're going to sell in different countries. So SI is system integrators. System integrators, okay. yes. So they'll basically take our design and maybe they'll rebrand it or maybe they'll keep the brand the same and they'll configure the hardware spec that they want. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me about the bricks. I, you know, I just, I loved it so much and it traveled so well to CES and it really did help with our workflow. Like the, the idea of being able to bring a desktop with you that's 100% new to me, so it's, it's, I really appreciate the work you guys did for that. So I just wanted a little behind the scenes on how exactly this came See, about. Nicole, <laughs> the desktops, there's life for desktop. There's definitely benefits for a desktop device, and I'm glad you, glad you could see that. So just to let you guys know, actually, Colin and I have been having this chat for a while now, because I, I, I had been dragged back to desktop, like, Kicking and screaming, kicking and screaming. Okay, fine. So now I'm on a desktop in the office, and now I brought I brought this to CES. And so when you do your rendering, you can do things, you know. I can do other things also. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to just wait. Yeah, I mean. I'm more productive. 
It's definitely, you know, there's different usage for the desktop. We, we see the desktop is actually, um, maybe the middle isn't as strong as where it used to be, but the high end and the low end is growing. You know, the high end people want to have devices that are fully functioned for a specific purpose. You know, whether they're doing video, video editing, whether they're doing, you know, multi-GPU gaming. So, uh, like, there's definitely, like, a place for high-end desktop. There's definitely a place for, you know, the desktop in people's lives. You need to connect all of your mobile devices to something, yeah. right? Yeah, no, d definitely. There's, there's, like, five areas about in, in tech that, I, that, that I'm genuinely excited for and that I'm following. And home automation is definitely one of them. And the, the creating the home cloud, creating a home ecosystem, a personal ecosystem at home. Um, like with what NVIDIA is doing with the K1, right? That's going to be putting a supercomputer in your car, right? Yeah. It's basically where NVIDIA is going with that one, right? So imagine being able to dock your supercomputer car into your supercomputer home, right? <laughs> I mean, woo, all kinds of supercomputer, but then <laughs> you need some sort of, you know, either a home server or a desktop, yeah. like some sort of some sort of base, right? And we're all going to be needing one because it's fine to put everything into the cloud, but at the same time, you need to look out for your, your own cloud, you know? Well, again, thanks so much for joining me. So this was Colin Bricks from Gigabyte here to talk about the bricks and small form factor computing. Yeah.